Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Robot in Three Days competition, checking in uh, with the Michigan Engineering Zone. Uh, this team is actually uh, created, this is a Robot in Three Days team uh, in Everybody. And so if teams are looking at creating either the Everybody or some aspects, they have a lot of great insight into what went into this uh, and uh, what they're looking to improve as well, too, out of this as well. So can't wait to hear more about uh, what has expired in this robot here on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Get ready to celebrate your Rapid React build season with Premiere Night on Saturday, February 26th at 6 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. This year, no matter where you are in creating your robot, submit a 90 second or less video celebrating your build season to Premiere Night. Submissions are due by the end of Thursday, February 24th, and you can get more details on any fun social channel or at firstupdatesnow.com forward slash Premiere 22. So Jack, let's start with you talking about uh, your experience with the EveryBot, with the Robot in 3 Days team, and uh, what you're uh, looking to do. I think because I hear you're looking to help out a lot of teams with it as well. Yep. Uh, so I'll start off with uh, how we're looking to help out teams. So uh, our program, we have about uh, 20 teams down in uh, a single center in Detroit. About 14 or more of those are building the EveryBot. And so um, for a project, we decided to help build the EveryBot to help walk those teams through. In that process, we've started creating an instruction manual. And uh, yeah, we're here today to show you uh, some of the troubles that we've had with it uh, and some of the successes, some tips that we may have for you. And um, yeah, as you can see, we've kind of destroyed it a little bit. Um, but uh, we'll have some tips for you about that. So let's start out uh, with that. Talk to me, uh, we have the intake that's separate on here. So talk to me a little about uh, the intake for it. Any, any tips, tricks for that? And we'll just kind of keep moving through the robot. Uh, yeah, so the intake right here, you're going to want to make sure that we, we initially lined up the tongue right here with this part. You're going to want to make sure that you get about 0.45 inches there. And that's just kind of something that it feels natural to line the tongue back up here. But that's just one little tip that we'd have. This versa planetary is a little bit tricky to align. Other than that, you're going to want to make sure that if you have a drill press, you're using that for this. Um, and then uh, just make sure. Uh, I believe 118 has pointed out that this, uh, this part right here could be a failure point. So you're just going to want to make sure that you have a good amount of rivets here. Um, this side, this might be a little bit overkill. Um, this side might be a little bit underkill. Uh, but just know that like um, we, uh, we were running the arm today on the intake. And uh, these bolts ended up snapping through because we didn't have a steel cable to prevent it from going over. And these rivets didn't break. Instead, we snapped through the screws. So we can thank the, uh, the work that we put into the rivets here for uh, this failure instead of the, uh, the arm tearing itself apart, which honestly might have been a worse failure. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's about all we have for the intake. Well, let's keep moving on then and uh, into the uh, climber mechanism. I know there's been a lot of eyes uh, on that with the EveryBot thing. And talk to me about uh, a little bit of your process making it and then uh, what you've experienced from it as well. Uh, yeah, so uh, the climber is uh, relatively easy to construct, at least like these uh, mounting points here. You're going to want to make sure that when you're putting in your angled tube here that you want to line up this tie plate with uh, this such that it's like uh, the top of this right here. You can get it like flush with the spring tube right here and the tie plate's just like secured right back in here if you're uh, confused on where to mount it. Uh, otherwise, um, you're just going to want to make sure that you got your uh, points drilled in your chassis, and then you can construct it on or off the chassis. It's kind of up to you. Um, and then the physical hooks themselves, we CNC'd them, um, but we did not drill the holes with the CNC. We would highly recommend doing that, um, as we're not 100% sure that we got the geometry right. Additionally, if you are going to want to climb, you're going to want to make sure that your robot drives straight if your robot isn't driving straight when you're going into this bar right here, you're going to have some issues and you could uh, only latch onto one side. Um, I, I can give you a demonstration of that. Uh, we also don't have the springs in here yet. Uh, but that, that mesh is just fine. But if you're off on the side, you're going to go up on, on it like this and then you're going to have some trouble. So you really have to make sure it does sometimes auto-align itself, but you really want to make sure that you're square to the bar as possible. Uh, and that's about all we have for the climber. So uh, with the EveryBot, uh, I've heard that there's been some doc extra documentation available, uh, more things for teams can learn about stuff. Where can they find that? Um, yeah, so uh, both on Chief Delphi and the EveryBot Discord, we have posted a separate build documentation. Um, we have added on to what the Robonauts have, added some additional instructions, tried to take a uh, some of the reliance on the CAD that they had. 
Um, and then a final tip, uh, there were some items that were initially missing off the bill of materials, so I'd make sure to run through that again and double check to make sure you have everything. Uh, the most important thing that was missing on there, from our opinion, uh, was the uh, three eight bolts that secure your climber, so you're gonna wanna make sure you have those if you wanna be climbing with this every bot. Well, Jack and Blue Jay, thanks a lot for taking time. We have another video with your other robots, so make sure you check that one out as well, but what a great resource for teams to learn from. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.